We're real, Ed. Not just part of dreams like you thought. I care. I make mistakes. I may not live much longer, but I'll still be here. Just don't forget me. <laughs> I'm not giving you a choice, Ed. Really, you're the lucky one, Ed. Shh. I've set everything up so you can go back home. You can take this second rocket while the guard isn't looking. Are you ready? <laughs> right in the fake arm. Good thing she's a bad shot. <laughs> Brother, it turns out the Philosopher's Stone may very well be real. But all the clues we need to finding it are off-limits to everyone except State Alchemist. Since I no longer have a mortal shell, I can't feel the terror you felt, thinking you were going to die. It must have been very painful and lonely. I want my body back, brother. I want to be able to feel what you felt. To feel human again. If we find the Philosopher's Stone, I can have that. Brother! What took you so long? He put holes in me! Humankind cannot gain anything without first giving something in return. To obtain, something of equal value must be lost. That is alchemy's first law of equivalent exchange. In those days, we really believed that to be the world's one and only truth. Brother! <laughs> he knew I'd see you again. When I was certain he was going to kill me, my mind went blank. I didn't have any hope anymore. All I could do was scream my lungs out. I felt so helpless. I couldn't even bring myself to believe someone might save me. And then you showed up. Oh. And I realized that if we don't take care of each other, then no one else will. So I'll do anything in my power to get our bodies back. Even if it means being the military's lapdog. And we'll just have to hope our powers are good enough to help us rise above our own limits. Because we're not gods. We're humans. Tiny, insignificant humans. Who couldn't even save a little girl. Ugh, forget the portal! I don't need to go back! No! Please don't! He's my little brother! Please don't take him away from me! I'm begging you! Don't give up on me yet, Al. There's this thing, you see. Something I've been meaning to tell you. Maybe life has no equal in the chain. Maybe you can give up all you've got and get nothing back. But still, even if I can't prove it's true, I have to try. For your sake, now. Gluttony. He's one of the seven like me. A monster! Do it. Transmute us both. Oh, you got a girl! One who's so, so tiny you could see! Sure. Mess up. Meh. Nah. Meh. Nah. Were you calling her Schnur? Yeah, Schnur. It's a Schnur. We're real, Edward. Not just from part. Frig. Did it again. I need to stop messing up. Okay. <clears throat> We're real, Edward. Not just some pop. Oh my god, yeah. We're real, Edward. We're not just some. We're. We're, we're real, Edward. Not just some. Pop. Why do you keep saying pop? We're real, Edward. We're just Pop Tarts. I don't even think they invented Pop Tarts yet. No? Yeah, they didn't invent Pop Tarts yet. I'm not giving you choice. Chancy! Chancy! I'm not giving you a choice, Ed. Shh! I am the teacher now. Oh my gosh. Right in the fake arm. Good thing she's a bad hoe. Oh, no, ho, not hoe. Oh my gosh. No, no. Bad shot. Bad shot is a lie. <laughs> I can't read.